Good morning and welcome to Linda Sue Plants for You. This is going to be a short video today, but I just wanted to um, capture the um, flowers that are coming through on my Begonia Rex. This is kind of my Begonia Rex corner here. Um, this all started from one small little plant that I bought from Stein's Garden Center. Um, what I want to say? Well, it's probably close to a year now. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that I'm getting this okay. I'm, I got the sun in my eyes here. But I wanted to have the sun shining on the plant so you could see the color and I'm hoping that that's working. Um, the story behind this is that it was about this time last year but it was very cold and half snowing and raining and just really yucky out and <clears throat> I was desperate for a house plant. I needed, I, I needed a cheer me up plant and uh, they didn't have much to choose from in the uh, actual houseplant section um, and the truth is they didn't have anything that I didn't already have so as I was walking through the store they had a table with the Rex begonias on them but they were not in very good shape in fact it looked like it was half dead but I brought it home I kept it in a baggie a plastic bag for a little while just so it could get acclimated and then I slowly opened it over a period of a day or two and boy did it bounce back. I've taken cuttings um, and I <clears throat> like I said I'm, I'm trying to make this corner my my begonia corner. I've got some other begonias on my wish list um, one of them being the angel wing which I cannot find in my area. I'm hoping now that spring is here that maybe they will carry it. But anyway, it all started out with a little plant, <clears throat> and that is now in this pot. And as you can see, I'm hoping you can see, um, very, very healthy. And the color on this is just it's phenomenal, the detail almost looks like it's painted on. It does like to be kept evenly moist. Um, and depending on the time of year, if I skip a day or two, it will wilt. It will tell me, I'm thirsty. And then I quick run and get my water and I do use distilled water on this by the way because I have well water with a high concentration of salt and I don't think it like that there I think you can see the color now so that was the starter one and that is in a 12 inch pot and then I took some cuttings And this doesn't have the awesome detail on it yet, but look at the flower. Ooh. And I did have flowers on it through the winter too, by the way. So I think it just really likes this corner. And this is a southeast window. That is the east window, and this is the south window. It's the southeast corner of my dining room. And then right below it, I propagated some more.
and those are in <clears throat> four inch pots. And as you can see, they're very healthy and very full. So I am excited about that. I did put one in a little tiny two inch terracotta, but I forgot to water it and uh, I think it met its demise. Oh, and underneath I have a few of my succulents. Which are doing pretty good. I'm not real great with succulents. But I just wanted to show you that and capture that flower and get it with the morning sun. I hope that you all enjoyed watching this and if anybody in southeast Wisconsin knows where I can get um, the polka dot, the angel wing begonia, uh, I forget the third word but it differentiates it from the thicker one. I'm looking for the the thin slender leaved angel wing. Okay so if you know where I can get that please Leave it in the comment section. And I appreciate those of you that have commented on previous videos. And I hope that you continue to do so. I really enjoy reading them and I enjoy answering. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye now.